Hello my dear chess friends, welcome to the new video. You know that uh, romantic era of chess, uh, I'm talking about middle of uh, the 19th century, was characteristic for uh, early tendentions to make, to build strong pawn center and later to play with pieces activated behind it. Then advancing the center, sizing initiative, kicking open and piece back, sacrifice something and win in style. And okay, a uh, black player in that game, uh, Dr. Max Lange was one of uh, typical presenters of that playing style, let me say like this. But of course, our hero of that course, William Steinitz, was uh, something like uh, this as well. Uh, game of two fighters uh, happened in uh, Vienna match uh, they played in uh, 8060 match Steinitz won uh, with uh, all three games uh, winning in all three games and let's see what happened in one of them Steinitz was white Lange was black e4 e5 Knight c3 and of course knight c6 when white played f4. That is one of the very first games Steinitz opened with Gambit, Gambit which would be uh, named after him afterwards. Idea is clear, white wants like in King's Gambit to remove pawn from e5 and to build strong pawn center with d4. Uh, principal way would, for black would be e takes f4 but black answer with less principal bishop c5 and after fe5 black wanted to prevent white wish to castle with playing bishop g1 okay that is not good but after rook g1 another mistake happened that is queen h4 black is consistent he wanted to take material back to take pawn back but d4 d6 would be better okay queen h4 g3 normally queen h2 rook g2 naturally with tempo and now you can see that black is already strategically completely lost. Why? Black has equal material, pawn is gained back, but take a look on black pieces. All pieces I mark red are on initial positions and cannot be activated very soon. That's the problem. Additional advantage of white is strong pawn center. What next? There is powerful bishop pair, which already works perfectly. There is better development, and we'll see soon there will be safer king after white castles long. White has practically all parameters in his camp. Not practically, but definitely. No, uh, all uh, all uh, parameters, all factors are definitely in white's favor. So, <coughs> once again, strong pawn center, space advantage, better mobilization, safer king, uh, and uh, bishop f, of course. Queen g6 happened, bishop f4. Black tries something to prolong the agony with knight h6, but okay. Here, there are many, 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 really many moves. One of them will be d5 with knight b5 upcoming, but white played something different. Uh, Bishop d3, defending e4 prematurely, then white will go for jumping with knight somewhere. b5, okay, that's very fashionable. Uh, very often in that romantic era of chess in the middle of, uh, uh, of the 19th century, uh, black just grabbed usually some pawn, like in King's Gambit, and then started with uh, probably b5 or d5, to return material back to fast development but okay even if black even if white uh, takes that pawn even if black manages to fasten his development still that will bring nothing to him because white still dominates with pawn center with bishop pair space advantage with better development still everything would be in white's favor let's go on after b5 queen f3 happened but for me it's mystery why knight b5 was not played i don't know we will never find out queen f3 not bad but 
after casting uh, black return mistake 94 was must here but i'm pretty sure result will be same because still white dominates and the pawn b5 will probably fall later there is knight d5 jump and still there is nothing black can do with his pieces but okay castling and castling still knight b5 and still knight d5 would be good moves knight d5 will immediately uh, will uh, indirectly prevent knight d4 well you know after knight d4 white will do check and take queen with check so white queen will survive so pawn d4 will be safe i would vote for knight d5 but knight b5 would win as well for some reason white preferred castling and still black played in gambit style f6 looks like he wanted to open a file to strike white but of course there is nothing because EF, queen f6 and d5 now knight d4 is not possible there is queen a8 now bishops are even more dangerous queen a6 happened and of course here white can do anything he wants maybe to take on b5 maybe queen d5 maybe knight d5 white went for rook h1 with the idea to play directly on the king side to use powerful bishop pair powerful rooks uh, on uh, and the uh, semi-open h5 to go for a mate knight a5 <laughs> black has pieces not activated yet oh, queen is exposed knights are on the rim rook is offered and black is completely in chaos i do not know what intention of black was but okay queen e4 there is double attack to the rook and to the pawn okay queen a8 would win in the style but okay knight f5 even now queen a8 would win after losing the rook of course that wins as well black two pieces are under attack everything would be happened everything same would be happened even with taking the rook immediately okay even that would be good enough to win the game queen a7 is of course the best practically everything wins but after queen a4 g4 was played style it's usually preferred to win in combinatory way and to finish job uh doing some brilliance d5 of course what can we suggest to black is uh nothing uh bishop b7 here will not work because white has even simple possibility to play d5 so black play d5 okay white can even take ed on passant to win the game but white decided to finish the job in style queen takes f5 why not to sacrifice queen if you're sure that wins uh black will remain with all on, only passive pieces his unique active pieces knight f5 and rook f8 will now disappear the board and still black king will uh, remain under fire of white rooks and white powerful bishop pair. game is over queen f7 what happened is continuation of e6 queen f6 will fall to bishop e5 everything wins so bishop e6 happened bishop e5 once again once again white wins uh using the the, the most beautiful way what can black do no chance to organize anything bishop f5 uh, will uh, lose the game after this and bishop is lost for instance uh, g6 happened white took now the pawn taking the bishop of course will win the game but white decided to win in style and now new queen is born that pawn is real desperado took g6 took h7 promoted and few moves later black just uh was mated black was mated in move 29 but i'm pretty sure after move 8 or 9 black could resign once again uh let's analyze that game briefly to see what happened f4 black allowed white to get strong pawn center completely wrongly uh going for uh, taking material to taking back uh that pawn on h2 material is taken back but uh, white dominates with bishop pair space advantage and so strong pawn phalanx in the center after queen g6 bishop f4 black is already completely lost 
he tried to prolong agony with this but the result was very fair white missed much better continuations to win the game but black missed to take pawn on d4 mystery for me but the game was fully <laughs> played according to principles which were ruling in uh, middle of the 19th century game was played in 1860 so you could see that e6 yeah bishop e5 so beautifully white ended the game the rest is irrelevant but let me show you mate once again so my dear chess friends i hope you could learn still something from that short but still remarkable game so you could see how in romantic era uh, players always pretended simply pretended to build strong pawn center almost for any price and that pawn center just helped white to hold easy win and to destroy opponent that will be all for that game see you soon with new analysis bye bye hello my dear chess friends let's analyze new game uh, related to building strong pawn center game was uh, played in 1864 still we are at the middles of the 19th century William Steinitz played with white pieces against uh, Valentin Green game was played in their match played in London uh, game uh, Steinitz won that match holding six victories with one game and in draw so Steinitz was white in that game and let's continue e4 e5 and this time white played f4 king's gambit e takes f which was uh, accepted knight e3 and g5 of course that was fashionable in the romantic era h4 g4 and knight e5 so many games uh, Steinitz played in that variation knight f6 and bishop c4 definitely other good move will be knight g4 but okay bishop c4 is not bad black practically must play d5 but it is good and accordingly to uh, fashionable and uh, modern principles of that time after you accept pawn uh, in some gambit return material in some good moment so eliminate opponent initiative get rid of it and maybe go for some counter attack d5 okay white played normally it takes d bishop d6 very good move not only preparing casting but now pawn d5 is blocked and that pawn blocks the bishop so white phalanx on the queen side is stuck d4 white supports the knight and queen e7 that is a mistake black wants to kick that knight or maybe to take it better was knight h5 knight is good there blockading spot knight is safe defending pawn f4 and still black threatens in some moment to take on h4 white cannot castle uh, so easily so queen e7 was played bishop f4 knight h5 now that is not as good uh, bishop g5 is one of possibilities which will after f6 casting and this will lead, uh, lead to wild and unclear complications so peaceful and normal and common move is g3 that was black's intention he wanted with f6 to go for taking a piece but the problem is black will take peace for a so high price uh, white can do queen e2 which happened in the game but other maybe even the best move is castling white is ready after black takes on f4 to take with rook and to dominate on the file after queen e2 taking white took with e of course white should keep material on the board he's pissed down it is better to attack opponent bishop than to trade it of course black moves the bishop but better was bishop b4 that maybe looks paradoxically giving white extra tempo but the point is uh, black wants to provoke c3 why because then knight c3 move would be impossible to 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 make after that bishop c5 position is unclear let me show you now what happened in the game and you will see 
that difference between most bishop b4 and bishop c5 is so important black played bishop c5 normally knight c3 and now black allowed mistake playing bishop b4 batter was taking first and now bishop b4 <coughs> where after white castles situation will be unclear of course if white here castles short okay possible but f file will be closed this way and that would not be dangerous for black black will have time enough time to organize transferring king to the safe zone i think after this maybe king somewhere h2 bishop f5 black would be able to play knight somewhere and to castle maybe even to castle short side why not in the game black allowed mistake bishop b4 white allowed that pin knight is ready to jump to e4 black must take it but now after black takes that bishop practically black must do this because there is important possibility for white to play bishop g5 bishop f6 maybe e6 you know to dominate this way black played knight f4 but the problem is white rook is already on f5 and white can take back with the rook now f file is opened and white will make the progress on the f file what can black do is just to do rook f8 but of course white takes uh it may be maybe it may look that king takes will be lesser evil but of course check king g7 and here i think e6 will lock out black army white threatens to go for that deadly check with queen to e4 and queen g4 is another threat black will be definitely lost of course last threat is rook f7 game would be over black took with a queen but now another rook comes to f1 queen c5 with the tempo king h2 of course and what can black do not so much there is direct threat for white of invading uh how to invade well e6 with queen e5 or queen g4 black played b5 dangerous uh the desperate uh desperate attempt to eliminate dangerous threats okay white takes black goes for exchanging but now question for you how to finish the job of course white finished the job in style with queen g4 what can we suggest to black if this for instance if nothing else queen will be lost but there will be soon mate of course black played queen d5 and now how to end the game well white played queen h5 black king is under attack king e7 was played and now queen takes h7 king e6 same time black resigned because there is mate in three uh, as you can see uh what would be the mate in three check and check and check so after king e6 same time black resigned once again let's analyze that game briefly this time so e4 e5 main idea of king's gambit is to remove pawn from e5 and to build a strong pawn center black accepted challenge black attacked the knight white decided to attack f7 before taking on g4 good counter attack but now black failed with queen e7 he wanted to take the piece which was not bad plan uh, maybe surprisingly for him white just got more than compensation knight h5 would be correct after queen e7 bishop takes now g3 cementing the situation f6 and queen e2 uh, i would suggest rather taking with a uh, short casting but okay f takes and last mistake allowed by black was he should play bishop b4 with unclear consequences still he played bishop c5 and now after bishop b4 that was final mistake of course he should first take now f file will be closed if white castle short that would be difference black decided to play bishop b4 but now choosing wrong move order black uh, allowed white to double on the file and to and to control the file before doubling he played rook to f8 of course how to finish job is white take 
and transfer rook to open file with the tempo. Of course, queen takes and check. <coughs> Black tries something to organize with b5, but now pawn g4 is unstable because bishop d7, defender of the pawn is pinned, white took, and game was ended after king e6, same time black resigned. So, my dear chess friends, what would be the conclusion here? The conclusion will be uh, fight against opponent pawn center and try to undermine it or try to uh, crush it or maybe at least to provoke advancing of some pawns to install peace in some holes. Here black allowed many mistakes and the punishment was well deserved. Uh, he went for taking the piece with f6 which was bad or maybe bad move order later he performed a uh, few more times bad move order he played bishop c5 and then bishop b4 instead uh, reversed bishop b4 and then bishop c5 and he didn't take on f4 on time allowing white to make the progress using open f5 so i think that lesson that game was enough instruction and i hope you could learn a uh, thing or few things from that game stay with us learn with us and uh, enjoy our future videos that would be all for that video see you soon bye bye